Well, hello again, everybody. Mental Fox here. Welcome back to Fallout 76. Well, this is where the game put us. Uh, we're supposed to be collecting blood samples. We're supposed to get one from a feral ghoul. We're supposed to get one from a wolf. And I believe that there is a feral ghoul over here in this direction. So let's see if we can't find him. You can see my little compass down there. Circle. Telling me that somewhere in this area... We're going to find ourselves a feral ghoul. Somewhere over there. Boy, that is one lit up sign. South side bridge, I guess. Oh, look at this. Bunch of meat hooks hanging there. That's not good. And then way over there is a scorched. Oh. The ash heap region's environment is dangerous. Equip a gas mask at the first sign of toxic air. Really? I'm in the ass... ass... excuse me. The ash heap region? Really? Hmm. Well... Fear will go right there, buddy. Well, this is a dumb weapon to use. Man, binoculars are even dumber weapon to use. <laughs> Let's just hit him with my machete. Uh, let us collect a blood sample. Okay, I got a blood sample. We're going to take his rat away as well. Now I need to collect a sample from a wolf, and that is going to be in this direction over here. Let me look at the map and see how far away it is. It's not very far. It shouldn't take us very long to get there. In the meantime, we'll just let him walk on by. We don't need to shoot everything. Hey, what's up? Level 62 charred feral ghoul. What? Say what? What the? What, 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 what? Holy cow. Yes, I'm afraid. Oh gosh, what, 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 what's with the radioactiveness? Did he hit me? Why am I up against a level 62 thing? Well, luckily he's slower than the normal, the average ghoul. <laughs> trying to hit him in the head oh oh you giving up dude yeah you backing away he's up all my ammo I have a ton of ammo for this though I'm not too worried about it <laughs> I can run backwards faster than you can run forwards wow what in the world am I doing up against a level 62 guy and that's what I get from him? That lame stuff? <laughs> what the heck, man? Uh, huh. Should be fighting level 62s. Well, luckily, no sign of ash yet. I'll look at my map. Okay. There's a player here. There's a player back here. <laughs> Daddy long vape. <laughs> uh. What do we got going on here? A wolf. I don't know how hard it is going to be to kill a wolf. I, call it, I killed one earlier. Whoa. Whoa. What is going on? Earthquake. Oh my. That's new. Huh. Very interesting. All right, Wolfy Wolf. Where are you? I don't know what weapon I want to use on him when I find him. We're not there yet. Might as well pick up one of these while I see it. This is, um... F farther than I thought it was going to be. It didn't seem that far on the map. But, uh... Walking this way. Okay, we're getting closer now. All right, Wolf. I'm hoping that I see him before he sees me, and I'm also hoping that there's not going to be a pack of them. But you know there probably will be. I mean, it's a wolf, for crying out loud. It's a big old tree. Is that the moon? That is one bright moon. Even the moon is radioactive.
Alright. Where's a wolf? Any wolves around here? Vats isn't picking anything up. Well, they should be right around here. Oh, vicious wolf. Oh, a vicious wolf. Uh, I like to hit it. Okay, got it. Oh, crap. Here they come. Oh, crap. Swing, dude. Where is swing? Where's the other one? Oh, jeez, another one. Well. Alright. Take the wolf meat. Oh, what? Uh, take it. Collect my blood sample. I now have all of the blood samples I need. Now I need to uh, collect a Type T fuse. And I'm going to look on the map here in just a second to see where that is. There were more wolves out here, but I was spinning in circles, man. Oh, that one had some rounds on him somehow. Let's look at my map again and um, see where these uh, this T-type thing is. This T-type thing is way up here. The closest I can get to that is Arctos Pharma. So I can go ahead and fast travel there. And apparently I am over encumbered already. Um, so that kind of sucks. So I don't know if it really matters um, if I take the time to travel back to my camp and then travel to Arctos because it doesn't cost anything. Jeez, oh, doesn't cost anything to uh, fast travel back to my camp. Uh, let me drop a few things so I could fast travel here. Some things that uh, aren't important. Uh, sort by weight. Um, oh, okay. Well. Junk. Oh, man. I got these cafeteria trays. Oh, they're made out of plastic. <laughs> I didn't realize I could look right here to see what these things are made out of. Well, the surgical trays are made out of aluminum, so that's cool. Remember, I wanted to collect some aluminum. Um, this stuff isn't, it doesn't even weigh that much, so as far as things to drop, I don't know. That um, meat that I just picked up, maybe? Let me sort by stuff that's getting ready to go bad anyway. Uh, we'll, we'll drop all this stuff here. There. Now I'm not over encumbered anymore. All right, let us uh, fast travel back to my camp here real quick to um, scrap my stuff. Oh, that's an interesting picture. Hmm. Okay. Uh, that's the first time I've seen that loading screen. Uh, we'll go up here, scrap some stuff, and then we will fast travel. This is Grapple's Mayor. Mayor of Earth, that is. <laughs> Our wonderful tourist industry that's weird. has a problem that I'm hoping someone out there can help me fix. Barrels of toxic sludge are popping up in Grafton Lake. Horrendous. No one will want to swim there if they see those. We don't have the funds to really clean up the lake, so I need you to make sure nobody sees them. And I know just the place to dump them. That's what they get for failing to endorse me. Um, okay, so... Pipe revolver is the thing I'm using. We're gonna... Boy, this... Pipe bolt action pistol sure does a lot of damage. It does 50 damage? Well, that's because it uses 308 ammo. I already have something that shoots 308 ammo. So, I'll get rid of this. And I'm going to keep the pipe revolver I've got. Get rid of these extra. Actually, the shotgun. Um, and a pistol here. Let's uh, store those in our stash box. Let's keep the shotgun and the pistol. I might want those someday. I have 26 Molotov cocktails. Uh, let us repair stuff while we're here. Just do this real quick. Uh, ooh, where did I get this thing? Minus 8% damage from players? I don't remember getting that. I am not interested in that, so let's get rid of that thing there. Oh, there's trouble out there. What is it? That's it. Oh, it's a red scorpion. Oh man, please take care of that. Um, turrets.
Man, it's like he's too close to the house and the, uh... Oh my god, he hit me? Are you serious? Look at this bastard. Yeah, he's too close to the house for the sh for the turret to do anything. Nice. <laughs> uh, red scorpion meat, we'll grab that. There we go, man. That's why I built this shelter, and that's why I built the um, turrets for that reason. Uh, I think I transferred that already. Yeah, I did. Okay. So back over here to um, repair our stuff. It's in pretty good shape. And then over here for our weapons, I'll do the same thing. Okay. Awesome. Might as well craft something while I'm here. Drinks. I could make some boiled water. Um, and some tea. I have plenty of tea right now. As far as food goes, glowing fungus soup. Wow, doing a lot of this. Grilled rad roach. Sounds disgusting. Oh, silk bean soup. Oh, and wolf ribs. Man, that's a lot of food I'm carrying around with me. So right now my weight is 154 out of 190. It's still a lot. But a lot of it I'm sure is because of this... Um, all this, these, this aid that I'm carrying around. So let me take something. Take some soup. And uh, also some. I thought I saw yeah, glowing fungus soup. We'll take some of that also. Here, I like the stuff that um, works on both hunger and thirst. That's kind of nice. Okay, let us uh, fast travel to here. Oh, there's somebody here. Fast travel to here, and then we'll go over here and see if we can't find this fuse. Spend uh, caps so. Yeah, going through the caps, but I think I have a whole bunch of caps, and hopefully we'll continue to collect them. And hopefully I'll figure out a way to make caps at some point so that I can fast travel without even worrying about the caps that I'm spending to do it. Because I think I'm going to do be doing a lot of fast traveling in this game. Okay, so I'm going to turn off this uh, daily quest here. I'm not going to do this. Turn this off. And what I'm looking for is In which direction? This direction. Okay, let's go. Somebody's up there doing a lot of shooting. It might be that guy I saw, that Matt dude. Hmm. That's not too far to drop. So, why is there a fuse out here? I don't know. What's this building I'm coming up on? Yeah, there's a little... Like a settlement. This makes it look like it's a factory or something. Pretty worried about it, actually. Look at the size of that tree next to that building. That is a big tree. Did I see something run by down there? I thought I saw, Yeah, I did. Oh boy, there's a ton of scorches down here. A ton of scorches. I wonder if I could quietly get into this building. Because I don't know exactly where I'm going. Looks like whatever I'm looking for is in this building. Damn these things. Look at this place. Let's see if I can sneak 
in here. Whoa, what the hell? What? Look at this settler here. Okay, a pickaxe in his chest. Shotgun, boiled water. What in the world? Shotgun shells. I'll take the aluminum can because I need aluminum. Here is another settler. What the heck? Telling me to go here for this... Greg's mine supply? This is where I'm going to find the fuse? Okay. What in the world? So... That's it. I, I guess I just look around in here, maybe? Turn my light on. Okay, that was scary. Radio down here. Oh my gosh. Well, now I've done it. I don't know which direction they're gonna come from, man. They're gonna come from behind me. What was that? Yikes. I can't tell which direction they're coming from, and unfortunately, no matter what they're running on, it always sounds like. It always sounds like, um, wood. So I can't tell whether they're running through the tunnel here. Uh, hit him. Oh, these stupid things. Still behind me, it sounds like. Oh, the stupid scorched... Stupid scorched. Well, there's at least one more. Damn, she was hitting me. <laughs> Still in danger? Still says I'm in danger. Well. Yeah. Damn it. Gosh. Look up and it's right in my face. Creeps me out. Still says I'm in danger. Sheesh. Alright. It's quiet now. Still says danger when I kneel down. Boy, these things have already turned into uh, meat piles. That's no doubt because the game can only keep track of so many assets. Uh, let's see, where is the radio? I would like to turn it off if I can find it. Is it upstairs? Where? Is the radio? I'm. Ah, oh man, stupid radio. I'm trying to talk over top of it because, as I've talked about many times, ugh, game cut it out. As I've talked about many times because of copyright reasons. So now I have to go running up here. Blue garden gnome. Cooking pot with some gold scrap in it. I have to come up here just to turn off a stupid radio. Otherwise, I don't think I'd bother to come up here. Maybe the radio is inside of this room and I need a key. Great, so that stupid radio is going to be playing and I can't turn it off. So uh, if this part of the video sounds weird, it's because I um, removed that audio. Okay, well, Type-T Fuse right here, man. That's what I came here for. I got a Type-T Fuse. I kind of hate to leave this place, but because it, it looks really interesting. Uh, I want to explore it, actually, since I'm here. But i um, not too happy about that music playing. Uh, I'm not sure where I'm going to find a key to get into that room. I killed all these Scorched, and uh, none of them seem to have the uh, key on them. So maybe if I uh, explore the rest of this place. Look at this. Neat. I'm gonna hole drilling machinery. It's pretty cool. 
uh, armor workbench. We could use it to scrap our junk real quick and uh, scrap some stuff that I'm not interested in keeping. Uh, including this and these hunting rifles and these shotguns. Alright, that's pretty cool. Yeah, let's um let's look around a little bit. Maybe we'll find the key. We can get into that room. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. The garden gnome, if I take that out of curiosity, uh he is probably miscellaneous. Well, I don't see him. He's not aid. I don't remember his name now. He had a he had a name, something garden gnome. Is he just junk? Junk. Blue garden gnome. He's made a made out of concrete. So I'll get some concrete when I scrap him. Coming in here to. Closer to where the music is playing. Um, don't know if I'm going to find the key to this in here. It'd be pretty convenient if the key that I need is right here next to the door. Uh, maybe I'll get lucky and I can get in from the top. Let's see. Oh, Feral Ghoul just lying there. Maybe the... Bobby will doggone. The, the thing is actually up here. Good. Shut up. Uh, the key is right here. Greg's Mine Supply Keys. There is a bobblehead leader uh, that says, Lead by example, when used, gain 5% more experience for one hour. Hmm. I'll try to remember to use that at the beginning of one of my episodes. So I guess, Although I guess it doesn't matter, does it? An hour is an hour in the game. Uh, let's see. Let's see. See if this unlocks the safe. Ooh, advice. No likenesses, so it won't be fierce. Uh, it could be random. Nope, not random. So we have one likeness. Uh, wanted has two likenesses with random, so it won't be that. Riches has one likeness with random and no likeness with advice. Okay, so Riches also has one. It won't be spokes because there's two likenesses. Uh, it could be pillow. This is really hard to keep track of. Okay, well, I got locked out. Let's go ahead and unlock this thing, why not? Then we'll try that terminal again. Oh, wow, man. That was an easy lock. I didn't have to do anything. Alright. Nothing in here. It's quiet. Let's try this. Let's try Greg's terminal again. Shrugs. No likenesses. Golden has no likenesses with shrugs. Still no likenesses. Won't be sheets. It won't be carpet. Won't be leaves. It won't be guards. It won't be noises. Uh, it won't be radios. It won't be wastes. It won't be straws. It won't be clever. Uh, night. Could be night. Ugh, no likenesses there either. Great. Uh, devote. Nope, because the sheets. Chosen. Nope. Return. Nope. Outfit. Could it be outfit? Could be. Ugh. It's not that. Okay. Well, I want to look at that terminal. I want to see what's in it. So let's look around out here and let that thing reset and then we'll go and try it again. Take the loose screws. Why not? Once upon a time, they had a nice little open concept apartment here. Volatile materials box? Okay. Can. Pretty generic. Alright, let's try this again. Learns. 
One likeness, great. Uh, so it won't be bundle. Uh, it could be design. There's one likeness there. Come on, game. Throw me a bone. Um, three likenesses to months. So, movies. Yay! Welcome, Greg. My notes. Day 45. Previous test. Not sure what happened to my previous notes. Probably need a terminal upgrade, but that's got to wait. Besides, I doubt my past failures are going to be that helpful anyway. Version notes. Got rid of the spinning pickaxes in the front. As soon as they hit rock, they either broke or the machine ground to a halt. Swapped the motor out with one from the truck out back. It's a bit too powerful, so still working on how to control the torque. It's also loud. Is he talking about making the hole drilling machine, you think? Uh, day 48. Previous test. Nearly ripped out the drill bit and the shaft melted. Not to mention the rumbling just about shook my building to the ground. Took no time at all for old Ms. Withers from across the street to start banging on my door. Told her it was an accident, but not sure she bought it. Version notes. Changed out the bit on the front with one from the industrial equipment. Wired in an old terminal to the circuit board to have it control the speed and torque. Day 55. Previous test. The mine foreman was back today asking about my work on the automated mining equipment I promised. Had to tell him something, but not sure he believes me any more than my neighbor. What am I supposed to do? I can tell him anything he wants to know about mining gear, but I know jack all about computers. I've got one week left to show him something. Version notes. Swapped out the terminal for a salvage protectron's old circuit board. Added the treads from a sentry bot that Carl procured. Remember Carl and if it's the same Carl. Day 63. Previous test. What a nightmare. That protectron slash industrial drill slash sentry bot hybrid nearly swept off the foreman's head when I tried to show it off out back. Took him no time to cancel our contract and kill my future. I've sunk everything into this last-ditch effort to update my business. If I don't act soon, I am going to lose everything. I bet that crotchety moneybags Ms. Withers would love that. Version notes, none. Safe control, well, that would unlock the safe, but I already unlocked the safe. So, there's Greg's notes. They were pretty interesting, I felt like. He's trying to make some kind of cool machinery. And now it's bright and sunny outside. Oh, it's just a regular can. I was hoping it would be an aluminum can. This, uh, we can unlock with Greg's mine supply keys. That just takes us outside. And then there's this door here. That also takes us outside. Well, that's so fun. <laughs> I thought it was going to be some secret room with cool stuff in it, but it's not. It's just, uh, the door to outside. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Greg. Let's see if Greg has any other cool stuff back here for us. Here is a weapons workbench. Scrap some more junk. Oh, what? Go away. Oh, damn it, Misty. Headshot. Huh. He had an interesting rifle. Did you see that? Some kind of tactical thing. Tactical armor piercing hunting rifle. Well, it really doesn't do that much damage. And it uses 308 ammo, which I'm already using for my sniper rifle. I don't like to carry two weapons that use the same ammo. I don't know if it's dumb or not, but that's how I roll, man. Scrappity scrap. Uh, so we will get rid of this. And we'll get rid of this. The cool thing is that when I scrap these things, I learn how to upgrade stuff, so it's good to scrap things. Let's see if there's anything cool in here. Eh, the fence ain't gonna do anybody any good.
Okay. Well. We got what we came here for. <laughs> Combination wrench. Yeehaw. Well, this is pretty. Huh. What a nice place. I am uh, curious about this pipe down here, though. Oh, we can't get into it. Oh, well. So, we may as well go back to uh, AVR Medical and uh, do what we're supposed to be doing. So, fast travel back here to the medical center. And we'll go back in there, and it's going to suck to go back in there because it is going to be chock full of scorched. Maybe I should get a shotgun. It seems like uh, those scorched get right up close and personal. And so do the feral ghouls, and I'm facing a lot of those guys. So maybe a shotgun wouldn't be a bad thing to invest in. I just don't know how to make one myself. And there's one of the aforementioned scorched... Let's go ahead and get inside of this place. I mean, if I'm going to fight off Scorched, it may as well be on the inside. I could find the front door. See if they follow me in here. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> I think they will, actually. I think they'll follow me. Oh, they're already beating on me. Oh, gosh. That's not fair. Whoa, whoa. Where's his head? Oh, my God. Where's his head? What the hell is his head? <laughs> Who's next? Come here, I'll take you all on. Come here. Oh, these guys want these guys want to shoot. Oh, look at this guy dancing around. Hold still. Reload. Oh, I see you. Man, knocked his head off. Freaking awesome. I don't need any of the crap you guys are selling. Man, that guy without a head. What the heck? What the heck indeed? Oh, this guy's got all kinds of stuff on him. Okay. Uh, la, 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 let's see. I need to go... I came in a different way, didn't I? Whatever I'm looking for is down in this direction. So, I saw a dude back here. Oh, oh, oh. Don't know if they're over top of me or on the same level. I think I've already been through here. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. What's up, y'all? It's an ambush. Ouch. <laughs> we jumped right into it. That was awesome. One up above me. Oh, man. Seriously? Kind of blends in with the background. He's hard to see. A hairbrush? No, oh, thank you. That one's weird looking. Boy, this one already turned into a meat pile. Jeez. Okay, let's see if I can remember how to get down there. I think we go through here. Go down these stairs. heard one. At least I think I did. So here, where we load the blood samples. Okay, we loaded the blood samples. Great. Now I need to install the fuse, which is where? right here. Okay. Replace the fuse. 
All right, I replaced the fuse. Did that. Okay, everything's done there. So our quest uh, text says nothing. Okay, that's kind of weird. Now we're just supposed to simply analyze the blood samples. No text. Hmm. Okay. Let us analyze. Analyze blood samples. Motor activated. Please do not open the device. Cycling. Separation achieved. Commencing analysis. Analyzing. Analysis complete. Data forwarded to symptomatic unit. Symptomatic configuration complete. Ready for inoculation. Use the symptomatic to administer the vaccine. Really? I'm going to administer the vaccine to myself? Okay, and I'm over encumbered again. Good grief, man. Oh, I go in here to do that. Okay. Is there any new text now? No, there's not. We're supposed to do this. Okay, here goes nothing. Use myself as a guinea pig. Well, that was fast. Quest completed. Okay, so, that, the noises in this place, and remember, I think the noises were mentioned in one of these journals, um, some about a scraping sound in one of these, and it, kind of creepy to know that, um, I'm not the only one who hears it. Um, but yeah, I don't remember which day it was hiding. Yeah, this is when... I think it's the day before this. This day. Hmm. Well. Yeah, nope. I thought we cleared this place out, but I swear there's something moving around in the upper levels. I thought I... Oh, there it is. There's that scratching noise again. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if that's a scratching noise, but whatever it is, it's pretty freaking creepy. Uh, so by all means, let's go see if we can discover what it is. Hopefully, um, I will find a workbench in here somewhere so that I can scrap my crap again. Always scrapping crap, man. Always got scrap to crap. Crap to scrap. So let's see if I could find a workbench. I imagine there's one in here somewhere. I may have already seen one, but I've already forgotten about it. Yeah, I think... Isn't there one down here? This is where the rad roaches were. I want the duct tape, though. Here I am picking up meat. Leave the meat alone. You don't need the meat. Let's leave it be. Uh, oh, it's looking like maybe there isn't a workbench down here, so I was wrong about that. What's this for? Oh, now I'm locked in here. Great. Well, that would be great if I was being attacked by a bunch of scorched, but they could probably just shoot right through there, so it really wouldn't even matter. That is the terminal to unlock that. Oh, look at this. Oh, neat. <laughs> it just takes me right back here, where I just was. That's kind of funny. Uh, 
All right, up we go. I could keep going up, but um, let's see here. Where will I find a freaking bench? Man, I hate those things. The sound gets me every time. Oh, well, Nuka Cherry, was that there before? And I just didn't see it? I find that incredibly hard to believe. Somebody's walking around. What's this? Psycho bobby pin box. A foot locker. Alright, let's unlock this. Oh, oh, oh man. Thought I was gonna get away with that one. <laughs> Nothing in it. I don't remember unlocking that before, but perhaps I did, and that's why there's nothing in it, because I already looted it. That is disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Well, I like how quiet it is in here, I'll tell you that. Keep looking around. Now this took us to um, a part of the place that was freaking huge. Whoa, where, what, huh? Who, where? Hmm, all right. Yeah, this is um, where the place gets really big and uh, kind of scary. At least I think it's scary. Just because of how big it is. How many different directions. Whoa. So the last time I was here, there was a bunch of them that came from upstairs. They came from around the corner. God. Oh, I don't like this. There's one right there. Missed. See, I could be up there and one could come from down here. Sounds like they're coming from every direction. Ah, crap, I missed. I think they're upstairs. Let's start from the top. Where are you coming from? Stairs? Oh, right here. We're not done yet. There's still more. God, I hate that they close on me so quickly. There's a bobblehead over there. See it? I don't know if I could get to it. Well, I'm already over encumbered. What does it matter how over encumbered I am? I don't know if it matters or not. I don't know if it makes my action points decrease quicker or not. Well, here's a Marvin Wexham's terminal that I could get into. But I kind of like to. Lee, <sighs> man, I was pressing the button. Shoot the gun. I was gonna say I was kind of like to clear this place out of all the scorched before I start looking at people's terminals. 
this is Comrade Chubbs. <laughs> stim pack buff out. Another stim pack. What the heck? Okay, that was weird. I think I got multiple stim packs there. Right, where are you coming from now? Sounds like they're in that direction, doesn't it? But, um... There's nothing over there, so... I'm not sure why it sounds like it's coming from that direction. How the heck am I supposed to get to that bobblehead? I already tried shooting him off. Oh wow, I actually did knock him down. Huh. Interesting. I wonder if a grenade will lock, knock him off of there. What do you think? Oh my god, I did it! <gasps> I knocked him off, but now I don't know where he is. Where'd he go? Oh my gosh, where did he go? Could be anywhere. I have no idea how far that explosion would have knocked him away. Right here, cool. An endurance bobblehead. Always be ready to take one for the team when used gain plus two endurance for one hour. It's pretty neat. Oh, hey, what's up? Man, I've had enough of these guys, I'll tell you that. Oh, cool, a stem pack. There we go. Finally, something I would expect to find in a medical facility. Right away. Take that. I can't believe I got that bobblehead. That was awesome. <laughs> Fun with physics, man. I can't remember which rooms I've been in, which ones I haven't been in. But I guess this is one I have not been in yet. Ooh, a safe. Well, let's unlock the safe and get more crap out of the safe. Whoops, didn't need to do that. What's up? I hear you. I will shoot you. Are you above me? When they when I shoot them, they sound human. The noises they make, I think. Sure would be nice to find a workbench. I mean, something, anything. My gosh, how big is this place? There's more. Good grief. Do these things make noises after they're dead? Holy hell, look how big this place is. Oh, look at this guy. Withered feral ghoul. Creepy. Oh, I'm suddenly thirsty. Wow, I went a long time without being thirsty. That's pretty cool. Okay, I'm still sorted by spoiled. Let's see if I have anything down here to drink that might spoil. Uh, doesn't look like it. The soup. Nice, we'll have some of that. Stop and enjoy some delicious soup in the middle of this deadly location. This, I can't believe how big this place is. My goodness. Pretty neat. So it was surgical trays that were uh, made out of aluminum. Cafeteria trays are made out of plastic. 
And I guess I've already been in the cafeteria, right? Otherwise I wouldn't have had cafeteria trays to begin with. So I've already been in here. Well, oh, crud. I did not expect this place to be this Hugungus. Well, a blood pack will take that. Where was that terminal I was looking at? Where were the stairs that go up? Anybody remember? Not this way. That is the exit. Oh, over encumbered. Dunk on it. Stairs. Employees only. Here we go. Here's some stairs. Let's take these. Yeah, I think this will take me back to that office. I think it was down here. Alright, let's check out this uh, terminal. Oh, look at this. Silver locket. Marvin Wexham's terminal. Well, let's get into this thing. Mutate. No likenesses. So, burned could be. One likeness in burned. Empire. Uh, I don't see any likeness between Empire and Burned. Uh, armies. Boy, this one's a hard one. The E matches. And I don't think it matches anything with Mutate. Okay, three likenesses and armies. So I'm going to say no allies would be too many. It would be more than three likenesses. So, uh, not past, not future not begin copies damn it ah now we gotta wait well I can't unlock that one I don't have enough skill to do it so I'll look around here a little bit while we wait for that to reset a printer activate this printer does not respond to your input okay Weird. Window open. Oh, that window. Okay. And then a pumpkin. Sure, I'll take a pumpkin. Why not? Stolen supplies. Laureen, you were right to have me inventory the prescription drugs locker. Turns out we're missing three boxes of painkillers. I'm not sure who the thief is, but we can't afford to lose any more supplies. I'm going to change the code to 011986. Don't forget to get rid of this note after you've memorized the number, Marilyn. Yeah, good job, Laureen. Alright. Yeah, I wish that... Um, breaking into these were more interesting and exciting, but they're not. They are what they are. And every time you go to them, it's different, so it's not like... What I learned before even matters at all. Driven has no likeness, so it won't be writer, it won't be grungy, it won't be folded. Uh, it could be slowly. Two likenesses and slowly. Um, a peer doesn't have two likenesses. Bloody does. Oh, now only one likeness. Great. Um... Let's see, there were two likenesses. Oh, I bet. Uh. Oh. Doggone it. I want to look at that terminal, man. I want to see what's in it. Oh, here's a... Whoa, I can't interact with this one. It's as if it's not even there. All right. Ah, oh, jeez. Alright. Try again. Squeal. No likenesses. Uh, rocket has no matches. One likeness in rocket. It won't be square, it won't be sheets. Uh, bottom has one likeness with rocket. Finally. 
Uh, AVR Medical Center Internal Mail System. Internal Staff Mail 8TN24. From Marvin Wexham, Senior Staff Supervisor. All our annual happy hour is coming up. I'd like to remind everyone to have fun, but also be courteous of others. I know things get a little rowdy, and that's fine, but be aware of those around you. We really can't have another mishap like last year. Thank God we were already in hospital. <laughs> another staff memo. I'd like to address a concern that's recently come to my attention. Apparently, some of the staff, I'll not name any names, seem to think the food we prepare here in the hospital is not up to their high standards. I'd like to remind you that you are free to bring your own meals to work if you don't like what we have here. Nobody is forcing you to eat inedible slurry, Jim. <laughs> not name any names. In any case, it's not okay to throw food at the servers behind the counter, or anyone for that matter. This is not high school, Jim. Jim, Jim, Jim. And uh, I'd like to send out a quick note reminding everyone to stay calm. We've all heard the reports by now about the bombs. I know this is scary, but everyone coming through these doors is counting on us to help them stay calm, stay professional, stay safe. And then safe control. I can open the safe. I can get in this safe. Pre-war money and a metal left arm. Ooh, try to control your excitement. Well, it's time for me to end this episode, so I'm just going to go ahead and end it here. Uh, when we start the next episode, the game will put me outside somewhere. Uh, it miscellaneously wants me to explore the uh, Charleston si uh, Fire Department. Um, that's what it says. And if we look at that on the map, uh, the fire department is right here. Okay, so it's right nearby. So we will probably do that next time, but first I have to take care of this. Well, I had fun in this episode. I hope you did too. If you did, why don't you let me know? Maybe leave me a like or a comment. Thank you guys so much for watching. I sure hope I see you again.